Today we're looking at an amplifier that I had found some old footage of. This is a US Amps amplifier from I think around 99. It's the USA 700T. It's a tripath amplifier. You can see the different options there for inputs, gain, sub frequency control, sub crossover, subsonic filter, and also for the turn on. On the opposite side, it tells you it's a two channel amp handcrafted in Florida and it has uh, a data port we'll talk about here in a minute and you can also see the speaker output but this is more than just speaker output it's also the power and ground you can see the two different options here for two ground and two positives on the right side so you have to you have, just have to be careful when you're hooking this up make sure you hook up the speakers in the right place and the power and ground in the right place if you want to bridge the amp this is a little different than some you use the right positive and left negative that's typically um, a little different than they do amplifiers. For ratings, 200 by 2 at 4 ohms, 350 by 2 at 2 ohms, or 700 by 1 bridged at 4 ohms. It also has this data output called the Exclusive Smart Amp Technology. What's that all about? Well, it says it includes the Smart Amp Technology that precisely monitors and tracks vital amplifier information, including the type, the frequency, fault conditions, all that. Well. Luckily, I found a picture of one of these online. You can see the different connections. It's a little box that connects up the dealer's head. It's a serial connection to the computer, 9-pin to the amplifier, and it came with a floppy disk used with Windows 95 and 98. And what does this do? It tells them the model, the serial number, the data manufacturer, the total hours, minutes, and seconds the amp has been on, how often individual channels been sorted, you big dummy, shorted, <laughs> how often the battery has gone under or over voltage, how often it's gone into thermal protection. A lot of cool information. Now this amp is a class T, and what that means it's tri-path. It has switching frequencies of 1.5 megahertz. I'll leave a link in the video description where it talks a little bit more about class T. This uses the TA0103A chip. And according to the spec sheet, you can see over here on the right, it's got the different power outputs that suggested audiophile grade, power outputs and also high power outputs but we're as you know we're going to test this amp to find out what its true output is so let's get the amp connected to the amplifier dyno so we can find the true output to a resistive load as shown with the amp dyno and enjoy the live audio for this one all right us amps usa 700t 4 ohm stereo certified 1 percent thd 1 kilohertz on the amp dial. Two hundred and fifty three watts per channel. Fourteen point four four. Current pull says forty three point three amps. All right, now we'll try four ohms uncertified stereo one kilohertz for the US amps USA seven hundred T. Two fifty three, two fifty three, fourteen point four volts, forty three point seven amps. All right, now we'll try stereo at four ohms, dynamic burst, one kilohertz. US Amps, USA 700T, 1 kilohertz, 2 ohm stereo, certified 1% THD. Rated at 350 watts per channel. Let's see what we get. Three eighty-nine, three eighty-four, 14.4, and 84.3 amps of US Amps 700T, two ohms uncertified stereo, one kilohertz. Nice power, 385, 381, 14.36 volts, 
80.4 amps. All right, two ohm stereo dynamic burst, one kilohertz for the US amps, 700T. All right, 456 watts, 14.4 volts. All right, now we have the US Amps Bridge Mono using left minus right positive. And we're gonna do 40 Hertz, four ohm certified mono run on the dyno. Simulating a subwoofer test tone pull. All right, 745. 14.38, 87.8 amps of current. All right, and just for comparison, we'll do four ohms mono, one kilohertz, certified 1% THD, US amps, USA 700T. All right, 768, 14.3, Current pull, 81.5 amps. All right, now we're gonna try 40 hertz, four ohms mono, uncertified up to clipping, US amps, USA 700T. Seven seventy three, fourteen point four, ninety one point three 14.4, 91.3 amps. US Amps, USA 700T, 40 Hertz, four ohms, mono, dynamic burst. Simulating music, subwoofers, etc. Six ninety one, 14.2, and the inrush current, 108 amps. Okay, so now let's look at the result sheet. Uh, pretty much just went over all the different tests there. You're welcome to pause this if you want to see this. Um, so I don't have that amp anymore. This is a video that was taken back in 2018, and the amp has gone back to Brad, who's the owner of Legends of Car Audio, Brad. And uh, yeah, so I don't have any way to show you it playing with speakers or anything like that. I do have some gut shots here you can see. Check out the insides of the amplifier. But yeah, this is uh, why I put this on the second channel. Just gonna do some extra stuff here. Found some retro footage that I never published. Hope you guys enjoy this. And I do appreciate you as always for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Big D out.